hope everyone is doing well. I've decided to do a wee vlog today. Well, actually over the next couple of days because... Well, to be completely honest with you, I didn't really have an idea for a video this week and I really like watching people's lockdown vlogs where they're just like at home and just kind of like doing little bits here and there. So that's what I am going to do this week. I am completely on my own during this lockdown and um, so I've not had any contact with anyone for the past like three weeks and I have just kind of been trying to keep myself busy and like just kind of doing loads of random little bits so yeah that's pretty much what the video is gonna be so it is Saturday today and my plan for today is to take some my protein content for Instagram my protein kindly sent me some of their new January clothing releases the other day I'll show you what they sent me in a little while but yeah I'm just kind of gonna be taking pictures in one of the outfits which is actually such a challenge when you're on your own so it's just kind of gonna be a little behind the scenes of that and you can laugh at me struggling trying to take these photos my Instagram game has kind of been slipping a little bit like recently I'm not gonna lie um I've just kind of been a little bit bored of Instagram fitness Instagram in particular is like I just feel like it is so repetitive like obviously I like how people try and post like informative helpful captions and stuff like that but I just feel like it's the same stuff every single week like on a Monday everyone's posting saying set your goals for the week like little small weekly goals are gonna help you reach your main goal and then on a Wednesday everyone's posting glute workouts because it's hump day and then on a Friday it's like oh it's the weekend like try not to fall off track these are my tips to help you stay on track at the weekend and then there's a little bit at the end where it's like oh but if you want a dominoes then that's fine too and then on a Sunday everyone's like if you overindulged at the weekend and like don't worry about it it's fine it's not gonna ruin your progress just get straight back on it tomorrow and like although all of these things are true it just kind of feels a bit like you don't need to post it every single week I've just kind of been a bit bored of it to be honest and like I've, I don't really know what to post at the moment like I just I don't know I just kind of been feeling a bit lost with it but I do want to try and get back into the swing of posting on there so today is going to be the start of that so I'll show you the new releases for this month from my protein this is the sports bra um, it's not padded or anything. It looks like it's going to be quite comfy. It's this really nice like bright pink colour and then it's just got the MyProtein logo there. They've got these cycling shorts to match. They've got the MyProtein logo down the side. They're in the same sort of colour. I'm not going to lie, I did think it was a little bit weird that they brought out shorts in January. Like it's freezing outside. But the more I think about it, I actually think they're going to come in quite handy because the only place in my flat that I've got space to do a workout is right next to my radiator. And... Obviously the radiator's on kind of most of the time at the moment because it is for reason. And when I'm doing my workouts, I'm like absolutely sweating next to this radiator. So actually, those shorts are probably going to come in quite handy. And they also sent me this white t-shirt. Um, it's just a plain white t-shirt and it's got the My Protein logo. And then last thing was this hoodie. And again, it's just got the little logo on the front. I think they are really cute and I really like the colour. I'll leave links and stuff to them down below. And I think I'll have to double check if my code works on these, but... If it does, I'll let you know. I think I'm going to wear the sports bra and the shorts for my photo. I want to do like a workout photo, like a sort of action shot. So I'll show you like the setup and all stuff like that. First, obviously, I need to get changed into this outfit. So I'm going to try and do one of these cool transitions. Let's see how this goes. Just ignore my outfit, by the way. I know it's horrendous. Three, two, one. So this is what it looks like on. I really, really like the colour. Um, I got both of them in a medium and I think they fit really, really well. They're really comfy. And yeah, I'm just like obsessed with this colour. So this is the t-shirt. I would probably tie it like this just because I think it's a little bit more flattering. So that does make quite a cute little outfit. Hoodie. Oh, this is actually quite a nice fit as well, to be fair. Probably wouldn't wear them together, but... I do like this. It's really, really soft and like cozy inside as well. If you're not really a massive fan of like the bright pink, I think this collection also comes in like a light grey colour. And I think they also do leggings as well as the cycling shorts. But yeah, 
let's take these photos let me just show you my setup for it when i take photos by myself um you're probably gonna get quite a good laugh at this <laughs> so my phone tripod broke probably like in november and i've still not replaced it so this is what i'm working with so we've got my big camera stand there and then we've got the gorilla pod that's like wrapped round and then we've got a little phone holder just balancing in there hanging on for dear life and obviously i put my phone in there and take photos oh i need my bluetooth clicker and then this little baby is my lifesaver <laughs> literally like press the button and a photo take on your phone so it's really really handy so i'm gonna set my camera up and you can just watch the whole process always have such a nightmare trying to get this to balance oh there we go oh oh my god oh i, I just i need to invest in a new phone tripod really don't i because this is just not working <laughs> literally just realized I can see myself in my phone in my mirror how have I only just noticed that right that's gonna make things so much easier look at my double chin on that one <laughs> love it right let's see I mean I'm thinking maybe that one I might just do like one more round just to like make sure I've got a good one. Right, okay, I've decided that I'm just gonna have to make do with one of these ones that I've got. Um, there's definitely some good ones in there. I'm gonna edit this up now and hopefully we'll get reposted by my protein. <laughs> literally think I'm lip syncing for my life on RuPaul. So I made this soup in my last what eat in a day video and looking back at it now it doesn't look as nice as I thought it did at the time. But that was the first time that I'd ever made it and I've made it quite a few times since and I've made some improvements. So it's the same, all the same ingredients but I found out that it's better if you use beef stock cubes, if you don't put chicken through it and if you put a bit more water in it. So I'm gonna show you the new and improved version of my soup. It's still nice and thick, still nice and chunky, but it's so much better than it was the last time. Same as always, we've got a wee toasted bagel on the side to dip in, but it's a bagel thin this time rather than an actual bagel because cut in life. So I've just finished editing up the photo that I took earlier um, and this is what we've ended up with. I think it looks quite good but then the more I look at it the more I think like it looks really weird but I'm gonna post it anyways it's legit like my first post this year <laughs> remember to go over and like it good morning I'm just sitting watching Al Darby's new video now and having my peppermint tea in my new giraffe mug how cute is that? I'm not too sure why its head is blue, but it's still cute. And I've also woken up to a wee winter wonderland outside. Look at this. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So that's exciting, but it's just gonna be a pretty chilled out day today. I've got some new training plans to write for some of my online clients. So I'm gonna do that first and get that done. And then later on, I'm gonna make some cookie bars. <laughs> Okay, so it's cookie bar time. So these are what I'm gonna try and make. They look so, so nice. Mini egg cookie bars, um, but I am gonna add some of these in as well because I really, really like these. And I just thought it'd be nice to have a mixture of mini eggs and these. Right, so what is the first step? Preheat your oven to 170. Whisk the plain flour, bicarbonate, salt, and corn flour together. Okay. Oven is on 275 grams of plain flour. One tablespoon of corn flour. T 
teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'll just pop a little bit in like that. Mix together and leave to the side. Melt the butter, add the sugars and whisk until the sugar starts to dissolve. Can you melt butter in the microwave? I just feel like it'll be easier, right? We're gonna melt it in the microwave. We need 115. So we've got the melted butter. I'm gonna weigh out the sugars. Uh, so you need 55 grams of granulated sugar, 135 of light brown sugar. That's actually like, that's hardly anything. So butter into the sugar. <laughs> How do I get these out? still need that actually. Pop those back in to add an egg. Teaspoon of vanilla. Add the dry ingredients and the mini egg. So this is what it looks like. Nice. So add that in. Mix. Some mini eggs and one for me. Add the milky bar, eggs, and two for me. By the way, I'm going to be the only person eating these before anyone's like, mm, that's so unhygienic. They are all for me. Let's have a little taste before it goes in the oven. Mm. So, away they go. so the cookie bars are done and this flat smells absolutely amazing. They look pretty good if you ask me. So I'm going to leave those to cool for like maybe 15 minutes and then try one. Okay so this is what they are looking like. Gonna do a taste test. Mmm, oh, they are so nice. Compliments to the chef. So it is Monday now and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. I kind of forgot I was supposed to be vlogging today. So this is the first time I've picked up the camera. To be fair, I've not really done much so far today. Um, I've had quite a lot of work to do today because it's Monday. That's the day that I go through all my check-ins for my online clients. That's kind of what I've spent most of the day doing. Nothing too exciting. Today was going to be like the last day that I was planning on vlogging. So I thought I would do something... Something fun to finish it off. One thing that I've been doing during this lockdown to try and keep like the positive vibes flowing is I've been kind of making a conscious effort to do something fun every single day. So it doesn't, it's not necessarily like anything extravagant. I mean, obviously there's not really much you can do at the moment, but just kind of something small, something random that makes me smile, that makes me laugh, just to kind of keep my mood lifted a little bit. So for today's activity, I am doing something that I've kind of wanted to do for a while. Um... I've kind of always like toyed with the idea of doing it and today is the day. So I am going to be, drum roll, I am going to be attempting to cut my own curtain bangs. So obviously curtain bangs have been quite in recently. I feel like everyone's got them and I really really like them. I think that they look really nice. I have got a feeling that it's gonna be an absolute disaster but at the end of the day no one's gonna see me for at least probably like another three or four weeks at least. So it's got time to grow back if it does look bad. But yeah I've been watching quite a few like tutorials on TikTok on how to do it so yeah I just thought 
why not give it a go? I mean, what else is there to do? That was like all the snow melting off my roof. <laughs> Got such a fright. I think I'm gonna set up in the bathroom to do it because I've got like a big mirror and stuff in there. So let's go. Okay. The lighting in here is not the best. I feel like it sort of makes me look a little bit yellow. Oh well. Why have I decided to do this? I do not know. Right, okay, so. Apparently, you just need to like bring the bit that you want to cut to the front and then secure the rest of the hair back. How cute is my little scrunchie by the way? It's got like Mickey and Minnie and Donald Duck and everything on it. It is so cute. I got it to take to Florida with me but then obviously Florida was cancelled so. So you need to take like the middle part and then cut that sort of like maybe like this sort of length so that that's going to be like the shortest part oh my god I'm scared I can't <laughs> I can't do it I feel like it's going to end up like you know when you're wee and you go, you're go you in primary school and then someone goes home and decides to cut their own fringe and then they come in to school the next game day and like their fringe is up here I feel like this is what it's going to end up like I'm just going to do it it's going to look nice it's gonna look nice. So I'm just gonna cut that like here. Okay. I just just cut it. Oh my god. <laughs> this has not Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I knew I shouldn't have done this. This is not okay. Oh, I guess when I've got like, when I'm not in a ponytail, it doesn't really look too bad because you can't really tell. I'm going to try and style them a little bit so they're sort of like, you know, more like this. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights This side is I, I don't even know what's going on with that side But this side isn't too bad I guess mm. I think maybe right If my hair was curly Then maybe that would look okay I think it's just the fact that the rest of my hair is like dead straight and then that's like but if like this bit here was curly then maybe it would look okay maybe probably not it does look a bit weird doesn't it <laughs> but as well as taking pt appointments for post lockdown i'm also now going to be taking a hair appointment dm me on instagram to begin if we've learned anything from this video it is do not attempt to cut your own curtain bangs